In this example, we want to find the interval convergence for the series. Okay, so to do this, we need to apply the ratio test. Okay, so, all right, so we need to take the limit as n goes infinity of the nth of the ratio of the nth plus one term and the nth term, okay? All right, so we're gonna have the limit as n approaches infinity. Okay, so the nth plus one term, okay, that is going to be, okay, so first let's identify the nth term. So that's gonna be minus one to the n times x plus 1 to the n all over 2 to the n and then nth plus 1 term will be minus 1 to the nth plus 1 times x plus 1 to the nth plus 1 all over 2 to the n plus 1 okay okay so let's okay go ahead and apply those okay so we're going to have minus 1 to the nth plus one times x plus one to the n plus one, okay, divided by two to the nth plus one, okay, times, okay, so we're gonna divide by the nth term, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the rate, uh, sorry, reciprocal of that, okay, so we're gonna have two to the n up here, and then minus one to the n times x plus one to the n power, okay? All right. Um, so let's simplify this first, okay? So we have minus one to the n plus one up here. So that's gonna leave us with minus one to the n times minus one, okay? So we're gonna have a minus one to the, so minus one to the n will cancel out with the minus one to the n down here. And then that leaves us with a negative one on top. So that eventually will go away because we're gonna, if we take the, we can take that outside, okay? We take the absolute value. So we can just cancel those out right away, okay? So then this is gonna give us, okay, this is gonna leave us with two to the n over, two, the, two to the n plus one, okay? And then we have x plus one to the n plus one, okay? Okay, so x plus one to the n plus one divided by x plus one to the n. Okay, so this is gonna give us, okay, so we have two to the n divided by two to the n plus one. So that's gonna leave us with a one half, right? Okay, so we can see that from here. So we have two to the n divided by two to the n times two Okay, so two to the end will cancel out, and that leaves us with one half. Okay, so we're gonna have one half. And then same reasoning here, okay, we have x plus one to the n plus one divided by x plus one to the n. So we're gonna be left with x plus one, okay? I'm sorry, yeah, x plus one, okay? On top, okay? All right, and again, if you don't, uh, if you want me to go through that, I can, okay? So x plus one, to the n plus one divided by x plus one to the n. So this is the same as x plus one to the n times x plus one, all divided by x plus one to the n. So this, and this cancels out, and that leaves us with x plus one, okay? All right. Okay, so the, the absolute value of x plus one, we can take that outside the limit because it doesn't depend on n. And even we can take out one half here, okay? Or we can leave it inside, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and leave it like this. Okay, so the limit, 
of one half as n goes infinity, so that's the limit of a constant, it's just constant. Okay, so we're gonna get right, we're gonna get one half times the absolute value x plus one. So for this series to converge, okay, right, we need we want to find out okay which x values does this series converge for? Okay, so we need to basically we're gonna have one half times the absolute value x plus one less than one. Okay, because that is the condition, right, for if the limit is less than one, then that's the condition for convergence for the ratio test. Okay, so this, okay, we can solve algebraically. Okay, this is the same as x plus one. Okay, which is less than two. Okay, and then this is going to give us So from here, this is the same as minus 2 less than x plus 1 less than 2. And then from here, we get minus 3. Okay, let's sub subtract 1. Okay. So we get 2 minus 1, which is 1. Okay. All right. So this is our interval. Okay. But we still need to check the endpoints. Okay. So. Okay, so let's say, right, we, this is our number line. Okay, and we have, so let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's go back and see the original series here. Okay, um, this is at x plus 1. Okay, All right. Okay, so that means here, this series is going to be, is expanded at negative 1. Okay, you can think of this as a shift. Okay, so we're shifting the series. Okay, so we're gonna so we're shifting the series. So that means the expansion here. So this is expanded at at c equals negative one. Okay. All right. So we have minus one. Okay. To one and then negative three out here. Okay, so that means our radius, okay, our radius of convergence, okay, is going to be 2, okay, all right, so you can see here also from minus 1 to negative 3 is 2 units, okay, all right, so it's radius of 2, okay, Okay, so now we need to determine what's happening at the endpoints. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start with 1. So let x be equals 1. We plug it back into the series here. Okay, so we're going to get. Okay. So the summation from zero to infinity, okay. So plugging in one, okay, we're gonna get minus one to the end, and that gives us so we have okay again plugging in one we get two to the end. Divided by to the end. Okay. All right. Okay, so this Okay, this is the same as the summation from 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the end. Okay, so minus 1 to the end, okay. Um, going from 0 to infinity, this is you're just getting 1 and negative one and one and negative one. Okay, so it's alternating. So it's alternating, but it's not converging. Okay. So when n is zero, we get one. When n is one, we get minus one. When n is two, we get positive one, and so on. So this is this is not converging, okay? This is diverging. Okay. 
So now we need to check the other endpoint. Okay, check the endpoint for x equals to negative 3. Okay. So substituting negative 3 back into the original series, okay, we're going to get minus 1 to the n times minus 2 to the n divided by 2 to the n. Okay. All right, so this, we can rewrite this as minus 1 to the n. Okay. Okay, and then we can take out the negative 1 to the n. Okay, and, and then that's going to leave us with 2 to the n here. And all this is divided by 2 to the n. Okay. So we can easily see, okay, that, okay, so this is going to cancel out. And then we have minus 1 times, uh, sorry, minus 1 to the n times minus 1 to the n. Okay, so regardless of what n is, this is always going to give us 1. Okay. So this is just 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So, so it's diverging. So we're going to get 1 plus 1 plus 1. Okay. So this obviously diverges. Okay. All right. So our interval convergence basically is from minus 3 to 1. Okay. Okay, so it's diverging at both endpoints. So that means we're going to have an open parentheses around uh, both of these. Okay, or both of these endpoints. Okay, and the radius here. Okay, the radius right, was the radius of convergence is two. Okay. And we can get that. Another way to get the radius of convergence is if we add, okay, so if we have, um, if we take 1, okay, and we have, well, we have minus 3 to 1. So what we can do is we can say 1 minus negative 3. So that's going to give us 4 and then just divide by 2. So that's going to end up giving us 2, okay. So it's another way to, to look at it, to get the radius of convergence, okay. All right, and yeah, that's it, okay.